الذي يجي لكم الفلك في البحر لتبتغوا من فضله إنه كان بكم رحيما الحمد لله once again we meet on our new session just to do a recap of what we learned on the previous lesson we learned how to paint a sunset and we also learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want us to reflect each and every time we see the sunset we should reflect on his work and we should praise him and glorify his name today insha Allah ta'ala we'll do something similar to that but according to the verse we've recited today it's a verse from surah al-isra chapter 17 verse 66 and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the ocean and that is what we are going to paint today as you can see we have a blank canvas it needs me and you to beautify it and to make it colorful with our art and with our abilities insha allah ta'ala as you have mentioned we are going to paint an ocean and what's required for you first of all remember to be neat you will need color green blue and uh, white from the color green that you have which is a mixture of blue and yellow we will make a color named aqua and this is the color of the ocean so once you have color green which is a mixture of yellow and blue we will add white so i already have yellow and blue so i'll mix to work to get the green that we want which is something that we have already done on the previous sessions once we get the green that we want we will add color white to get the shade of aqua which is the shade of the ocean so it depends if you want your ocean to be brighter you put more white if you want it to be a little bit dark you reduce the amount of the white paint on the chapter that we have recited Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he is the one who created the ocean and he has made the sheep the sheep to float on the oceans so that we as human beings we can benefit from the ocean verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very merciful to human beings so with that in mind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the ocean so whenever you travel to Mombasa because in Nairobi there's no ocean whenever you travel to Mombasa know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the ocean when you see the ship or the ferry floating in the ocean remember the verse of surah al-isra verse 66 that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is favor he is doing for us so that we can benefit from the ocean and there's a lot of things that we benefit from the ocean among them is fish we eat fish don't we and from the ocean we get fish so alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made that easy for us so we will need aqua which we've already prepared and the other color that we'll need is light blue for the sky which we will use a little bit of blue very small amount of blue and uh, 
plenty amount of white so that our sky looks bright we are going to make the sky to be um, during the day so alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the ocean the skies so inshallah ta'ala for the beginners this session will be very interesting for you since you are going to paint a simple ocean with the sky during the day bismillah we are going to start with the sky the upper part of the sky so we'll use blue bismillahir rahmanir rahim we start our painting I remember always be neat try to be neat as much as possible mashallah this is already a good sky so you just add blue and the lighter shade of blue which you can find it easily by mixing a small amount of blue and white i will add more blue mashallah do you remember what we learned the other day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to praise him it's not only in the evening or during sunsets each and every time you look at allah's creation you have to you need to praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i want you to find a verse in the holy quran that talks about the sky then send us your answer and surely there is something awaiting you at our studio of al huda which verse there are so many verses in the holy quran that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the sky so i'm going to use white to make some clouds as as we've said you can use any pattern you want on the skies on the clouds just as when we were painting the sunset some say oh look at the sky it looks like a like a lion look at the sky it's making a a face look at it since our main aim today is to paint the ocean we leave the the rest of the part the bigger part to paint the ocean from the colors that we've mixed we've found or the product is aqua so we'll use it and we will start blending with the blue before it dries we should do that before it dries so that it blends well with blue okay and this part it's almost blending well if you still have a small amount of the blue left with you you can apply and apply and apply so that it blends well remember don't be afraid don't lose hope even if you see it's not coming out yet no continue blending continue blending 
Remember the verse we've recited in the Holy Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that sheep are floating and all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a favor he's doing to us so that we can benefit from the ocean. And we've mentioned some of the benefits that people get from the ocean, apart from fish, apart from food. Eh? <laughs> people also wear, get clothes from the ocean, from some of the big fish, like the whale. People use their skin and uh, you get cloth out of it. Even in another chapter, in Surah to Nahl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that, that from the sea, people get clothing, which comes obviously from the fish. So you can use white to blend to make your ocean to be more more real realistic eh? shouldn't be dark there are some parts that when you look at it on the ocean there are some parts that are bright some are like darkish in color so the secret is just your your paint you just add white on it so you can see in some part it's a little bit dark, in some part it's a little bit white. I'm just trying to blend it so that we get different shades of the oceans. You can use a bigger brush, the one that I'm using is slow, that's why it's taking me a lot of time. So if you have a bigger brush, go ahead, you can use it. Just follow the procedure we are using or the concept we are applying. So it shouldn't be hard for the viewers at home. We use blue and white and a couple of marine to blend in here. Since we are almost done with our painting. So that it looks neat. As you can see from this side, it has blended in well. So I'm going to make something like a wind or to show you a barrier where the sky makes the sea from afar. And just like this clouds, you can make your own patterns because mashallah, the waves are like the clouds on the oceans. So you create your own patterns. It shouldn't be perfect, remember? You're just a beginner, and that's why you're also making it simple. By now, you can see some waves, some dark shades of the ocean. And you can also see where the sky meets with the ocean from afar. And you can also see the clouds. You want to draw a boat or a ship because you're just beginning. Then on our next episode, inshallah ta'ala, we will try to be more and more creative on the ocean. This is just for the beginners. You can use these simple steps to make your ocean or to paint an ocean or a sea. But remember, whenever you see an ocean, 
whenever you see a sea or a river or a lake, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created it. And he made that so that we can benefit from the ocean, from food and clothes and what have you. So this will be the end of our lesson. Insha'Allah until we meet again next time. Shukran. Ma salam wa billahi tawfiq.